Hi, thank you for your question. So this pertains to how I spoke about how I didn't actually get my driver's license till I was like uh, 24 or 25. I mean, my kid was already in a preschool program before I got my license. I had such bad driving anxiety. So there's two things that really helped me when it came to like overcoming my fear of driving. The first one is the biggest one and I think it's one that a lot of people wouldn't expect. When we think about driving anxiety, we think about like being on the road, being scared of an accident. But honestly, I think a huge part of that anxiety for me and a lot of other people was the responsibility. I think a lot of us don't trust ourselves like to make decisions on the road to like be a responsible driver. Not only that, but when you get a license, like, so much more responsibility is on you. I mean, at this point in my life, like, you know, my son was needing more appointments, he needed a ride to school every day, uh, but I always had family with me to help me with that. And I knew that getting my license would not only put that on me, which I get it, he's my kid, it's my responsibility, but I'd be alone, and that was really scary. Like, I'd be the only one in charge of my son in the car, and all of that, you know, uh, work would be on me, all that effort would be on me, and um, that was scary to think about. Also, I honestly just didn't trust myself compared to other adults. I know that sounds crazy, because I was an adult, and I had been an adult at that point for quite a long time. But even though I was like a competent and capable adult, um, I just didn't see myself as... Uh, I guess you'd say trustworthy, uh, you know, driving a car and having all those responsibilities. Which is silly, because I had so many responsibilities in other areas that I excelled at. But it was uncharted territory, and I was so nervous. The thing that really helped me with this was actually when I, like, obtained my license, and I saw just how much driving could, like, you know, promote self-care, in my case anyways, as long as it's safe. I found, like, the serenity of just going on long car rides by myself, not having somebody, like, you know, looking over my shoulder. It was way more peaceful than when I had someone teaching me how to drive. I mean, I love my parents, but it's much better when you're on your own. I was so scared that first drive on my own, but it ended up being so peaceful. Even though I had a lot of added responsibilities, I also had a lot of added peace. I didn't think I was going to take so long, so I'll try to hurry. The second thing is I really motivated myself with things that I wanted to do. When I thought about my license, I thought of everything I had to do for everybody else, and it was overwhelming, honestly. Yes, I love being a parent. Yes, I love being close with my family. But we don't always love doing what we need to do in those positions, you know what I mean? So I thought about how I don't have to listen to NPR and jazz music. I can listen to Boozy Baby. I don't gotta go convince someone to go get me McDonald's. I can drive down there myself. Little things like that motivated me so much. It made me see it from a different point of view. I hope this helps.